Hello, good people. You are welcome back to Top 5. If you love true crime stories at all, and you are one of those people that loves watching educational and entertaining contents, historical documentaries, and mind-blowing government secrets, then this right here is your channel. In our previous videos, we've talked about a lot of interesting things, from deadliest criminals and serial killers the world has ever known, to pedophiles that owns dark web-based services for child pornography. These criminals on my list have committed unimaginable crimes, and they all deserve to rot in hell for the rest of their lives. If you've not watched the videos, please go check it out. I will attach the link in the description box below. I am very, very certain you are going to love them. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you find value in our videos. Your support is greatly appreciated. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top five most dangerous women the world has ever known. And these women on my list deserve to rot in hell. Please note that this list is in no particular order, and if you think any female criminal deserves to be on this list, please let us know in the comments section. The world of crime has always been dominated by men. Many cartels, gangs, and criminal organizations are usually run by men, but despite the overwhelming presence of men in the world of organized crime, these women on my list are evil and have proven to be as ruthless, calculating, and morally bankrupt as any drug lord. The number one on our list today is Gracilda Blanco. There's a good reason why Gracilda Blanco is the number one on this list, and you are about to find out why. Gracilda Blanco, also known as the Black Widow, or the Godmother of Cocaine, was a drug lord for the Colombian Medellin cartel throughout the 70s and early 80s. When a woman is already nicknamed the Black Widow, this does not bode well. Blanco made a name for herself in the underworld, and quickly became one of the most feared and ruthless leaders of the Medellin cartel back then. Blanco helped smuggle massive quantities of cocaine from Colombia to the United States, especially in the city of Miami. She is suspected of having conducted over 200 murders during her reign. The Colombian was married three times, and it was said that all of her husbands were murdered, hence the nickname Black Widow. The so-called godmother of cocaine had a thoroughly sadistic character. It was rumored that she committed many of her murders just for fun, including shooting a pregnant woman in the stomach, and even torturing and killing her best friend. She managed to escape authorities until 1985, when she was arrested in California. She received the maximum sentence of 15 years in prison, though she reportedly continued to run her empire while incarcerated. Blanco managed to serve only 10 years in prison before being deported to Colombia, where she was eventually gunned down by two men on a motorcycle on the 3rd of September, 2012. There's a lot more to this case that we cannot fully cover in this video because of time, but if you want to know more about this horrible person, drop your comments below. The second on our list, Natalia Bakshiva. Natalia Bakshiva, also known as the Cannibal Woman, a native from Russia, and one of the most notorious female serial killers to ever exist. She was recently arrested on suspicion of eating at least 30 people, and then coaxing her husband into killing a waitress, who just so happened to flirt with him a little too much. According to investigative reports, her husband was suffering from tuberculosis at the time, and his role in the murder and cannibalism will be dealt with later. That is, if you guys want me to. As for Natalia, police found a collection of steamed and frozen human remains in her kitchen, and the remains belonged to her final victim, 
the 35-year-old waitress, Jane. The police also found 19 preserved slices of skins and a jar filled with pickled human pieces. She only got arrested for the murder of that one waitress after she apparently told her husband to do it. He pulled out a knife and stabbed her multiple times in her breast. The couple then brought her body back to the house, chopped her up, took selfies with her severed body parts, then cooked and ate her a little bit. It was after Natalia was arrested that she admitted to having at least 30 victims over the past two decades. She had apparently worked with her husband to lure women from online dating apps and websites for the sole purpose of murdering and eating them. Do you think cannibals are born or made? Let me know in the comments section below, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Number 3. Maria Leone Maria Leone ruled over a criminal empire with connections to a human smuggling ring, while being the mother of 13 children. She wasn't just involved in human trafficking, she would also smuggle drugs and undertake contract killings, among several other crimes. Maria is one of the most powerful female drug lords in history. She had close ties with the Mexican Mafia, used to be active in Northeast Los Angeles, one of the roughest neighborhoods in LA, and held power for 20 years. She was eventually arrested and sentenced to more than eight years in a United States federal prison, with orders for deportation immediately upon release. Maria's reign as the much-feared head of a drug-dealing dynasty would come to an end thanks to the death of one of her children, Danny Leone. He had died in a shootout with the police while wielding an AK-47 back in 2008. Maria's problems started when she decided to attend his funeral in the United States. She would enlist the support of the Mexican Mafia, joining the ranks of some of the most dangerous gangsters in Los Angeles. Since she was banned from entering the United States, she decided to go there by an illegal route. Unfortunately for her, the members of her gang were already under police surveillance, so it wasn't challenging to arrest her and her accomplices. Other than the several victims of her crimes, the real tragedy is Maria never getting to mourn her son properly before being whisked off to prison. After hearing the story of the cannibal woman, and Maria Leone, you will be forgiven to think that they can't come worse than this. But don't go anywhere. The fourth and fifth on our list are equally as evil, and the perfect definition of evil demons. The fourth on our list is Darya Nikolaevna Saltikova. Darya Nikolaevna, commonly known as Saltichika, was a noblewoman, sadist, and serial killer from Moscow who became notorious for torturing and killing over 100 of her serfs, mostly women and children. Saltikova had a very volatile temper. She was reportedly a very unhappy woman and was prone to taking out on her female serfs. The Russian would beat them, mutilate them, and pour boiling hot water on them when it pleases her. More than 100 serfs are estimated to have died at her hands. And because she had powerful political connections, it took a long time for her to be brought to justice, despite the mounting body counts. She was finally arrested in 1762. A six-year investigation followed, noting as many as 138 suspicious deaths connected to her. Saltikova was eventually found guilty of torturing 38 female serfs to death. She was sentenced to be chained on a platform in the center of Moscow for an hour, wearing a sign around her neck saying, I have tortured and murdered, after which she spent the remainder of her life imprisoned. The final one on our list today, the ice cream killer. Estebales Carranza is the ice cream killer one of the most fascinating female killers in recent memory. She was beautiful, young, 
and very successful. She operated an ice cream parlor in Austria. But even though she was so pleasant and appealing on the outside, she was a cold killer on the inside. In 2008, she killed her ex-husband. Then, two years later, she shot her boyfriend in the back of the head. Both men were dismembered with a chainsaw. She killed them because apparently the first was violent and lazy, and the second was unfaithful. Rather than simply ending the relationships, it seemed more convenient to simply kill them. After Estebales killed both men, she hacked them up in the basement of her ice cream shop and stored their body parts in freezers, then filled the basement with air fresheners. In 2011, construction workers accidentally stumbled upon the corpses in her basement. Estebales fled in a cab before the police could arrive to apprehend her, and she fled 300 miles away to Italy. She was eventually discovered hiding with a street musician and was taken back to Austria, where she was deemed dangerous and mentally abnormal. Even a psychiatrist said she had a personality disorder and would probably kill again if let free. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Who's the most dangerous woman you can think of? Let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit subscribe for lots more. I will see you again next week. The next video is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm sure you don't want to miss that.